BRICS will foster peace in Ukraine. This is Ty Green with a note on the BRICS summit weeks ago. I've shared a few times that within the word of God that the rising multipolar world power would be involved in the wounded head being healed. This means that BRICS will foster peace between Russia and Ukraine. The war in Ukraine will be over, but not soon enough. I want you to hear a statement by the president of Brazil that points to this. But before we get there, we must understand the details of the wounded head, as it represents calamity on a landmass first. That serves as a foreshadowing of what happens to the son of perdition later, when he becomes the beast personified, having full power for 42 months, the last half of Israel's 70th week. Check out this video for details on the wounded head. This healing event occurs before the 11th horn is on the scene. It occurs while the 10 kings, those 10 horns, are in position in this fourth kingdom that Daniel is shown, which is described as a beast. Remember Daniel 7, 23, thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. Now watch this closely. This fourth beast represents a multipolar power, right? It's a group of world leaders, a group of people. It's not represented as a single person until the Antichrist takes over and subdues three of the ten kings, Daniel 7, 24, and he shall subdue three kings. This is very important to know because this multipolar world power will be involved in the healing of the deadly wound on one of his heads. And the world will wonder after the beast we see in Revelation chapter 13, verse 3. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. By definition, what head is suffering from heavy affliction and a public calamity, suffering a blow, a stripe, a wound? That mountain, that head, that continent is Europe, and the epicenter of it is Ukraine. Before it gets better, it will get worse. Then that deadly wound will be healed and it will involve the beast as the Bible says, and all the world wondered after the beast. Bricks will be involved in resolving this public calamity on the continent of Europe. Watch the subtitles as we listen to what the president of Brazil said during the last BRICS summit in August. A guerra na Ucrânia evidencia as limitações do conceito de segurança. Muitos outros conflitos e crises não recebem a atenção devida, mesmo usando vasto sofrimento, mesmo causando vasto sofrimento para as suas populações. Haitianos, iemenitas, sírios, líbios, sudaneses e palestinos, todos merecem viver em paz. É inaceitável que os gastos militares globais em um único ano ultrapassem 2 trilhões de dólares, enquanto a FAO nos diz que 735 milhões de pessoas passam fome todos os dias no mundo. A busca pela paz é um dever coletivo e um imperativo para o desenvolvimento justo e sustentável. Os BRICS devem atuar como uma força pelo entendimento e pela cooperação. Nossa disposição está expressa na contribuição da China, da África do Sul e do meu próprio país para os esforços de solução do conflito na Ucrânia. Em muitos lugares... See, he said BRICS must act as a force for understanding and cooperation. He talked about a commitment expressing contributions to conflict resolution efforts in Ukraine, and watch this, and many other places. I'm not sure if you're seeing this yet. This multipolar grouping is going to eventually resolve the conflict, foster peace in Ukraine. This should not be hard to see as one of the main members of BRICS is Russia. Russia is involved in this conflict, 
Not only that, but after this is over, going to be a track record for peace. Remember President Lula of Brazil said contributions to conflict resolution efforts in Ukraine and many other places. The conflict between Israel and the Palestinians come to mind. As he said, many other conflicts and crises do not receive due attention. And amongst the list that he shares, we see Palestinians. We know that the 11th horn would have something to do with that, Daniel 927, right? I just wanted to share this information as things like this confirm even more that the beast has been correctly identified and we're watching it form up. We can see a desire to heal the wounded head and an expression to resolve conflicts, one of which involves the Palestinians. And that'll involve Israel and the covenant with many by none other than the 11th horn. I hope everyone is seeing this. I hope you're seeing how this all connects. Gonna seem like peace, but before that happens, how much worse will it get? This all points to the fact that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Bible prophecy points to Jesus. It serves as a warning and an encouragement. No Jesus, no peace. Jesus Christ is coming. Don't worry about how things are converging. And it seems like many things will happen right around the same time. Fear not. Jesus takes care of those that belong to him. If you belong to the Lord, draw near to him. And if you don't know Jesus, you need to be saved. Here's an encouragement towards a relationship with Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. You can be prepared to meet God right now. You must believe in your heart that Jesus died for you on that cross. For we have all sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. For we all have a sin debt that we cannot pay. The wages of sin is death, right? So we must trust in what Jesus did for us up on that cross. We must believe it with our hearts and confess it with our mouths. Jesus was buried and on the third day, God raised him up. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, Behold, all things are become new. So just come as you are. Look at this, Titus 3, verses 3 through 7. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward man appeared not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. All right, I will leave it right there. We must Use our remaining time wisely. Amen. Live holy before the Lord. Love y'all. Shalom.